Hey, welcome to Hiking with Kevin. I am Kevin, and that makes sense. Today I'm hiking out in the wilds of the Hollywood Hills. I got a lot of warm coffee in my belly, drank some on the way over. It wasn't that good, to be honest with you. It was not that good. You know what I think I like? Lines. I like waiting in lines. And it's not really, you know, the coffee. It's the chase for the coffee. It's the journey to the destination of coffee. Because when I get to the front of the line, it's like I don't even want it, you know? I just want to get back in line with my comrades. We're gonna have a great hike today. Fasten your seatbelts, put your CPAP machine on, take your out of van, and why don't we go take a hike? My shoulder jockey today is a, an amazing Renaissance man. Wow, he has done it all. He's a brilliant photographer, he's a singer-songwriter, he's a philanthropist. Oh, and I can't forget, he's had a famous song written about him and for him by a famous rock and roller. Well, today we're gonna take a hike with Julian Lennon. Do you remember where we met for the first time? It wasn't in Vegas, was it? Yes, it was. <laughs> At the love. Yeah, it was the, the love opening scene. of love. See, there's the, my, my, there is a, are a few working brain cells. <laughs> and I remember so. asking you, or telling you, how much I love the lot. Ah, yes. And you know what you said to me? Oh, God. <laughs> what did you I? said, oh, that's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> did I? Yeah, yeah. I said, well, I got it on my wow, playlist. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, not. I wouldn't say rubbish. It's just, you know, I think with every artist, you just want to hear people say that about your newer <laughs> yeah. or latest work. And right. the... Do you remember the first concert you ever went to? Uh, yeah, uh, I think it was ACDC. Oh, yeah. Uh, on the back of a motorbike when I was about 16. Yeah, you do uh, like motorcycles, don't you? Yeah. I, yeah, I've been a biker since I was in my early teens. That was wow. Probably the, at least at that point in time, was the best present uh, my dad ever gave me. Oh yeah. I, I, you know, I, 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 I guess he was concerned a little bit, <laughs> but you know, a teenager yeah. uh, calling up saying, "Hey, Dad." Uh, right. Right. I want to be I, a biker. I love that you didn't wear sneakers or hiking boots. You decided to wear your <laughs> your boots. My biker boots, yeah. Well, I'm kind of boot man because I yeah. just don't know what I'm going to be riding. Do you think you would ever get married? I'd love. I, 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 I've been close. I, yeah, uh, I've been close several times, which is amazing in of itself. But. Uh, yeah, I've been in love a few times. I'd still love to have kids. I still think there's time to do yeah. that. I still think there's time to fall in love again. Sure. What you like, although, although I do question that sometimes. Do you worry about getting older? I don't. It's just, you know, recently I had to do a bunch of photo shoots and I look at myself in the images and go, oh, Seriously? Who is that? So, you know, this is partly now why, because I love life. Yeah. Uh, you know, I want to be fitter and healthier so that I can be around right. in a healthy state longer. I used to be a major siggy head, so to speak. See, sounds like you cleaned up your act. No more after parties, no more siggies. I quit smoking about 10 years ago, maybe a little longer, cold turkey. Yeah. Only because, uh, here's the ego stepping in, that I didn't want to be told I couldn't smoke. So I told myself <sighs> right. to stop smoking. And that pl plunged me into a very deep depression for many years. Really? Just yeah, I was one, I, yeah, because I, I grew up smoking in my early teens. And I really loved smoking, and I, I was a deep inhaler. And, um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I'd be one of those who, you know, wakes up at, in the middle of the night and has a ciggy and then goes back to wow. sleep. You put it in your mouth as you're sleeping? No. <laughs> you work but a lot, man. I, you work a workaholic. I am. I am actually a workaholic. I feel I have to prove to myself that I can actually do stuff. 
you know, I'm one of those guys that I, I can't lay on the beach. Right. You know, I do it for about 20 minutes, half an hour, then I've got to do something. I've been pretty much working for two years non-stop, uh, especially more so in the last six months than anything else, with the finishing up an album that I've been working on for four years. And, Why uh, has it taken so long? So it took four years to bring these 11 songs together. Some, half of the album I guess is new stuff. What's it called? I can't tell you that. I, I just started a company called the White, White Feather Films. <laughs> and we're, we're gonna make documentaries. Let me ask you this. Yes. Who was your favorite Beatle? <laughs> You're effing funny, you know that. <laughs> Uh, uh, um, there's no question about it, I have to say, Dad. I don't absolutely. have to. He was my favorite, um, by the way. Don't He's, get me wrong, I love all the others. Yeah. And without their particular character, this is a quick pick. Incredibly beautiful today. Did you see Get Back? Uh, yeah. Uh, you probably saw those clips before it even came out, right? No. Really? No, I didn't. Did you like I was, it? I was not privy to anything prior to its release. Right. Were you excited to see it? Um, I was nervous to see it and I didn't really want to see it, huh. especially publicly. Um, right. Because I've been to a few things like that in the past and... Too much hassle. Well, it's... People just tend to sit and stare at you to get look at your reaction. Anyway, I was invited to go to the screening here in LA. Uh, yeah. My brother Sean was here and he was a bit nervous about the whole thing, but I said, listen. You sat through the whole thing? Yeah, well, no, this was a edited uh, version oh, right. of 100 minutes with interjected with snippets of Peter Jackson looking increasingly Distraught. Well, not distraught, but in the f in a funny Monty Python kind of way. Yes. Where he'd be sitting in a different position in the same chair or with a different guitar each time, right. with his hair looking a bit more dishevelled. <laughs> That's got to be nerve wracking. Well, no. What he actually did, because he was part of the story, he was able to set things up so you had a clearer impression right. of what you were about to see. And for Sean and I. That kind of uh, took the edge off yeah. by him adding a bit of humor into right, the, right. Uh, the whole thing. The whole thing. We could actually relax and watch the film. I just noticed how funny your dad was. Oh, yeah. I mean, he loved to ham it up with the camera. Oh, absolutely. And he was, and also, he was the most lackadaisical, it seemed. You know, it seemed like he just wanted to improv. You know, run some riffs. Very much so, although you gotta, you know, I mean, they were all... And Paul's all over like, come on, we gotta get ready, we've got two minutes left before we have a concert. Very much so, but, yeah, the, uh, Ringo was quite funny. He, he, was, was, he was, was a bit twisted in the background. But also George was the quiet funny one. Oh. You know, all the boys loved, um, that's probably where my love of, of the same kind of comedians, you know, uh, Peter Sellers. I mean, they, they worked with him. That? Yeah, I know, I wish, I wish that's... Monty Python. That's one of the things I would have, I would, one person I would have loved to have met. But George, out of everybody, had videos of every show he'd ever done. Really? And uh, yeah, uh, which I saw with him, uh, uh, with the one and only time that I went to visit him in Henley at his home. Did you like George? I love George. Uh, George to me was probably the calmest yeah. and most apparent caring out of, out of the bunch in many respects. Um, he just was, you know, very, very sweet. We're we going to the ducks. That's what I noticed about Get Back. Oh, they, they only have like a four track or something? What? Track? Yeah, yeah. I and mean, what? They didn't even have the songs written. They get in there and they write them. What? Yeah, I know. Well, that's what I have, how you used to do it in the old days. I remember with my first album, they just chucked us in a, in a barn and said, write and record, here you go. 
Jeez. And he kind of went, okay. Did your dad give you any guitars? Yeah, um, he gave me three. Three? Three guitars. Right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> when I was uh... I've been painting a lot from your digital Your painting. work is fantastic. Thank you, thank you. No, really, really, really fantastic. I mean, the thing that I wanted to do in school was art. Yeah? First and foremost, before music. Wow. Because mum was an artist, dad was an artist, so... Yeah. You know, I pinned my hopes on that, but... Um, then once you, you know, pick up a guitar with a few mates in front of a young audience, and uh it's over man nothing else matters no nothing else mattered after did, that did your dad show you uh, how to L play it all a little bit yeah when i used to go to new york and he was living on the east side in this little apartment which is where he saw where he saw uh <laughs> is it down by cbgb's uh, no that was the upper east side and he had a roof not a rooftop apartment but you could get onto the roof it's where he he saw a UFO. Really? Oh yeah, big story. Wait a minute, was he on any kind of like hallucinatory No, drugs? not at that time. He was not. I can vouch for that. Um, but I've seen one or two myself. Have you? I saw one in particular, yeah. Uh, Did you get the license plate? No. Here's the shot. That's the shot right there. This is, this is the shot. Can go back this way. Oh, <laughs> we're almost. How there. much further do you want to go? Let's no. go back on that road. I'll get some drum shots. Back on a little path. Maybe that. What's the one? The one we came down on? Is that Is one? That way? Is it that way? It's that way. I thought it was that way. Well, we can go back around that if way. If you want to. <laughs> you don't like it. We'll go this way. Well, we can, yeah, we can go this way if you want to. This way's nice. Are you spiritual? Yeah. Or, uh... Yeah, I'm not religious not in religious. any way, shape, or form, but spiritual, yes. I believe, certainly believe in energy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've felt it, I've witnessed it. I mean, the whole story of how White Feather came about, the, my foundation was partly because of spirituality. Yeah. Because Dad said to me, I couldn't tell you exactly when or where, but. He told me that if something ever happened to him, that that uh, to let me know that he would be okay, or that we were all going to be okay, it would be in the form of a of a white feather. And then when it was like '93, four or five, I was on tour in Australia uh, with my only number one single, "Saltwater Environmental Humanitarian." Uh, I was in Adelaide and I got a call from the hotel management saying, you know, uh, Mr. Lennon, please come down to the lobby. There's an Aboriginal tribe down here with a bunch of film crews. After Dad had said, you know, if something happens to me one way or another, how to, uh, I'll let you know if I'm going to be alright or we're all going to be alright yeah. right further. So I'm in the lobby of the hotel in Adelaide. There's this tribe called the Murning Tribe. They've been kicked off their land. All kinds of nasty things happened to them. And the elder, who was this lady, walked up to me in the middle of the semicircle, uh, circle with a few news crews around, and she presented a male swan's white feather to me and said, uh, you have a voice, can you help us? Wow. There's certain things that you recognize that couldn't be anybody else yeah. helping you out in some way, shape or form. So, so I, I, I am a total believer in spirituality. You know, that was one of a few, what I think, excuse me, a few what I think. That uh, was a ball of fun right there. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Damn COVID. <laughs> um, uh, you see, yeah, right. running. Oh, yeah. I always thought that 
when all the Beatles kids got older, they would maybe get a band together. Everybody thinks that, huh? Did I ever try it? Did it ever happen? No. No. Listen, we all, we all love and respect each other, no question about that. Uh, you know, I mean, Zach and I used to hang out together way oh, yeah. back when. He was an amazing drummer back then, even when we were in our 20s. But Danny and I, I like Danny. on occasion, Danny's a, a great kid. Yeah, I like him. Lovely, lovely guy. Um, Looks so much like his friend. Yeah, I think we all do. We just, I mean, that, the thing I keep saying to people is, I'd be worried if we didn't. Yeah, I wonder yes. what your father would look like now. I've seen impressions, you know, people do that impressions. stuff. Really? Drawings. Oh. <laughs> Drawings and paintings. But they do that, what do you look like? Yes, yeah. But, yeah. Well, you know what Paul Well, you know, like. I love that. I actually love that film yesterday. Yeah. Uh, until they put that weird bit of uh, an impression of what Dad would look like in oh, his 70s and 80s right. or whatever, up in a uh, uh, Scottish or Irish island. <laughs> And it kind of threw the whole film off for me. Right. I think get it wasn't necessary. I don't think. And it was just weird. You ever wear the same clothes like two or three days in a row? I haven't done that for about twenty years since you stopped drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Julian. Wow. I just hiked with Hey Jude. Whew. I grew up listening to that song about playing Spin the Bottle. It's just by myself, but still. By the way, my first concert was the Eagles, but ACDC, I don't even think I would recognize them if they're on the street, like they see or DC past me. Oh, no. Thanks for joining my hike. Please subscribe, hit that notification so to do that. And we'll catch you next time. Happy trails. Julian, do you think we could ever be friends? You know, I don't, I don't think so.